Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Chainsaw Man episode number 6. Last episode was so wild. Denji and his adventures with these female characters. Well, Power is technically a devil, but <laughs> my man Denji achieved one of his dreams by touching Power's boobs. And that scene with Makima was very unexpected. It's clearly her manipulation. He wants Denji to kill this very, very strong devil. And she's seducing him. I mean, considering how Denji grew up, it's really easy for them to do it, man. But it kind of sucks for us to, to see what he has to go through. But also he's kind of enjoying it, even though we feel that he's being used. So we are going to follow his journey and see how will this all conclude. But yeah, as I said previous time, very, very low percentage of uh, men in Denji's place would be able to resist that in that age, of course, because he's clearly not mature enough to see what's going on and then we threw himeno in the mix she promised that she will give a kiss on a to with tongue whoever kills the demon in that place they are right now and it's interesting because it seems like we are in some sort of illusion or something because we are stuck on eighth floor we tried going uh downstairs but that guy he came from above so it definitely seems like we are trapped in some sort of illusion genjutsu i don't really know i assume that it's some of the devils doing but so far we didn't see any of the devils having such ability we met two new characters besides himeno kobeni and arai arai is very motivated do but he's not really skilled enough as a devil hunter and i talked about last episode how he definitely has that aura around him that screams disposable character unfortunately that's how i see it and if anyone has to die uh, he would be the first choice most likely in my opinion and Kobeni is much more interesting uh for the sole fact that she is very scared, she is like a very, very scared and cowardly person, but they said that she is powerful. So those type of characters are very, very fun to follow usually. So I, I hope that we get to see more of them. And yeah, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on and how do we exit this situation. So we learned about the gun devil. We saw Aki's flashback, really tragic stuff. We knew that his family was killed by uh, devils, but I did not know that it happened so suddenly and so easily. Like that blast took his whole house, man. That was insane. I wasn't expecting devil to be on that level. Like that gun devil is no joke. And he leaves these fragments that looks literally like bullets. And if devil eats it it becomes stronger which is also very dangerous and we are basically looking for him by using those pieces to try and get a reaction because uh, it's like a magnet it uh, attracts that piece that we have on us very interesting stuff i am very excited for next episode so without further ado let's jump right into it let's begin all right everything is ready let's go Eighth floor, yep. <laughs> oh, this girl is so shook, man. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that would be my guess as well. He entered one of the rooms. Oh shit. Wait, what? What kind of mind fuckery is this? Is, a, is it a mirror or... Is it literally another room? 
Oh my god! <laughs> Reactions, man. <laughs> yep. So what was the trigger? Power killing that head, the devil, or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> Look at Denji in the bed. <laughs> of course, never change Denji. The elevator is not working. Wow, no matter what we try, that's insane. <laughs> that might be right. Oh my god. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> it's good to know that it's not Gun Devil. Yeah, but I kinda like this. That they can even have power like this. Like illusions and stuff. She's way too pessimistic, bro. She's way too pessimistic, but she's so cute. Oh, she's doing it for her brother. Jesus, bro. This poor girl, they're doing her so dirty! Holy fuck! Oh my god, Power! <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Kobeli is definitely feeding devils with her fear. Nah, but that really sucks. For she's doing this for her older brother. So their parents basically said go in prostitution or devil hunting fuck them bro the clock stopped what the fuck the time stopped oh <laughs> Denji, bro. So is this like Dios Zavarudo? But we are basically allowed to move around. They can't believe this. He's literally going to sleep, bro. He doesn't give a crap. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually asleep. Holy fuck. Now Denji is such a great character, man. He's so funny. Yeah, I like her as well. Himeno is kind of cool. Okay. I mean, what the fuck? Nobody's showing up. How do we get out? <laughs> My man's having a panic attack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're being knocked out is probably the best. <laughs> Nobel's Prize? For what? <laughs> oh my god! Power's voice actor is phenomenal as well, just like everyone at this point in this show. Goated squad. Jesus, this guy is literally shaking right now. I mean, I would be scared as fuck too. What is she supposed to do? Freaking out won't help. ニコチンの力。ニコチン、いや。そんだけども。わこじゃん。そりゃあ、聞くに<笑><笑> She's spot on. Mm. She does have experience. She lost five par partners. So she's basically living every day like it's her last. What the fuck? Of course. Jesus Christ. Imagine that. Why? Oh my god, where is Aki going? Oh, <laughs> he put the glamour clothes. Damn. Yo, look at that. Let's fucking go. Aki is a goat. 
Ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> Yo, man. Screw loose. <laughs> I, I hope so. I don't. I would not like this if this is some sort of foreshadowing that he will actually die or something. Like, fuck that. We all know how this ended up, so... <laughs> she really wants him to smoke, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we all know that's a cap. <laughs> wow, what a nice transition. Yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that's an indirect kiss. Yeah, power, yeah. Oh my god. Oh shit. That is wild. What the fuck? That devil wounds Denji. Why Denji? No fucking way! Don't fall for that shit, bro. It's Kobeni. Nah. Kobeni, chill, chill, chill. They will probably want you to kill yourselves. Nice. Let's go, Aki. Damn! <laughs> they put her back to sleep real quick. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, is it because, because... Yo, this is like another dimension or something. Oh, can ghosts do something? Oh fuck, it's working. Okay, so it's clear that damage is making this thing grow. You're inside of my stomach. Nah, I don't tell me that it's actually true. It's actually true. Why? Oh my god, this is kind of bad right now, not gonna lie. Bro, Aki, please, don't let this happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, power. Mm, only with humans. Okay. Whew. Thank God for Aki, bro. Oh my God, bro. This is so tricky. Like, <laughs> they are just chilling there. What? Why? What the fuck? Why is that such a big problem for him to use sword? Your power. <laughs> she ate everything. Oh my god. Does she even mean to eat, bro? <laughs> At this point, she's gonna kill everyone, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Her voice actor is also great. Oh my god. It started chasing after them. Oh 
why does this, this fucker want Denji dead? Eternity Devil! What the fuck? That is so creepy! Who would be scared of Eternity? Scared of living? Or Eternity or what? That's interesting! Is that why the time stops? Because Eternity... Damn, both of them want Denji. Oh shit, let's see. Oh my god. Wow, she doesn't want Aki to use the sword. What is it with his sword? Oh, I see. It takes his life. No, bro, I fucking hate this right now. And she's holding back Aki. They might allow them to attack Denji. Aki, oh my god! Fuck, Kobeni, oh. chill the fuck out! Nah, Aki is my favorite character, bro. Oh my god, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh, he needs all the help he can get. I'm not letting Denji die. Let's fucking go. Yeah, can she do that? Oh. Oh, it's a challenge, but she can still attempt. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Bringing back bad memories for him, you know. Wait, Denji. Oh shit! Wait, he intends to go and fight that devil, but. It's gonna make it go bigger only. Yeah, it seems like that's the case. <laughs> Jesus. That is so fucking savage, though. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! <laughs> Just like with power, now we have Denji jumping. Holy fuck, Denji is such a G, bro. Oh boy. No! Is it ending? Is this ending? Oh, oh! Wow, it looks like this represents this episode. Look at these stairs. It's like a maze or something. Ooh. Okay. This probably isn't my favorite ending, but it's still pretty good. It's more of a chill one. But still great. This part is so goated though. I like how it sounds. Nice, the visuals are perfect as always. Alright guys, that was my reaction to episode number 6 of Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Another interesting episode, what can I say? Chainsaw Man is a really, really well-paced anime and for these 6 episodes we got to learn actually a lot about the characters. Like, last 2 episodes we got to learn about Himeno quite a bit. We know that she lost many partners and in this episode we saw that she is basically a very very depressed person deep inside. She is not showing that to others but based on what we saw we can conclude that she is a very very depressed person and that she deeply cares for Aki and that she might even like him possibly. The way she reacted to him uh, 
putting that piece of gum on the clothes of that woman. That was one of the sweetest moments uh, from this show that I saw so far. That was actually very, very heartwarming. So I really like Imeno, bro. She's very, very chill. But once Aki even mentions using his sword, she's like, nope, stop right there. And she's doing everything she can to prevent him. He means a lot to her. That's clear. And I really like their relationship. But... <laughs> Aki started smoking because of her and as I said it seems like she lives each day like it's her last just because she's surrounded by death and the job she's doing I can kinda understand that and Aki's sword the fact that he can use a sword to escape this situation means that it's literally something like ace up his sleeve and it's something so powerful that is capable of escaping this like dimension that is insane and it makes sense that they are trapped in a place where time is not flowing because it's eternity they were they are like uh trapped there for eternity i guess which is really really tapped bro now that i think about it we are probably going to face some OP as fuck devils in the future. That goes without saying. The future of this show seems exciting. So Arai became <laughs> very very scared as well real quick. And Kopeni is so cute. But yeah, she's <laughs> she's kinda crazy bro. She's she seems way too pessimistic, which fits her character because she is very scared. But the fact that she stabbed Aki, she attacked Arai and Power, she wanted to kill Denji, she's wilding, bro. It would be the best if she was knocked out for the, this whole time, but what can you do? Uh, that scene of Aki getting stabbed for Denji was such, so great. Aki is one of my favorite characters. My favorite, I can say that already. Him and Denji are so crazy. But him and no power. Uh, Makima is also very intriguing. All the characters are super dope. So we, we are dealing with eternity devil. So my questions from previous episodes have been answered. The devils of something. That something doesn't have to be tangible. Oh boy. Now, now we are talking. Now we can, uh, we even, we already saw the ghost devil. So now we saw eternity devil. So holy shit, man. It's going to be so crazy. Really like how Denji reacted to Aki getting stabbed. He was quite upset because of that. He cares for Aki and I, I can sense the great relationship building up between the two. My boy Denji is savage, bro. Absolutely. Uh, savage mode he decided to jump he's like you want me dead all right <laughs> i'm going down but just so that you know i'm going to struggle and i'm going to use my powers to make this devil kill itself that was such a savage line and he jumps down what a goat man also i forgot to mention stuff about kobeni she is literally forced to be here it was either this or prostitution for that little girl that is vile. I really, really feel bad for her. Because her brother is like more gifted like for studying and stuff. They want to make him go to the best university. And she's and she has to earn money for it. That's crazy, bro. How they are treating and using her. And it's her family. It's really, really tragic, bro. I really feel bad for her. Uh, at least we got to learn something more about her, but we didn't got to learn much, much about the Arai dude. Power was hella funny as always. Now she is on that shenanigans with Nobel Prize, <laughs> raising taxes, bro. She is crazy. It was a really, really great episode. Can't wait to see what's in store uh, for me next time around. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. 
the link is in the description i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then take care and have a nice day see ya guys